What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Ride Share Hub. Hey, before we get started today, I left you guys a link in the description to the Cash App. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, the Cash App is basically an app. Um, you can kind of use it as a bank. I've actually used it for quite some time. I have a debit card through them, and uh, it's just a pretty good service. But the really cool thing about them is that when you sign up, if you send someone five bucks, you get five bucks. Um, so you could tell all your friends about it and you guys could all go use this Cash App link and uh, go see a really cheap matinee movie or something. I don't know, five bucks, it's yours, it's cash, it's seriously simple. So just download the app, use our uh, promo code and you're gonna get five bucks in your account. Awesome. Um, so what we're doing today is I'm going to do seven reasons you need to drive in San Francisco. If you're a new driver or if you've been on the fence about driving and you live in SF, like there is just not a reason in the world you don't start tonight because it is the hub of all hubs of places to drive. Uh, the money is just ridiculous. The rides, everything is just impeccable. So I'm gonna go into seven reasons on why you need to be doing it. Uh, and number one is just like I was saying, it's super constant rides. Most areas that I've ever lived, um, a lot of times I'll wait five to 20 minutes for a ride. On Uber, that's pretty rare, but on Lyft, um, sometimes like up to 40 minutes. So what's really awesome about here is Uber or Lyft, you're pretty much back to back to back to back, uh, super consistent. Obviously, this is the uh, way you're going to max out your hours. My best days that I've ever made are usually because I'm giving constant rides. Um, and this is one of those cities where like you actually have to schedule out when you're going to take a break just to use the bathroom. Because uh, in a lot of places, I'll just sit and if I'm sitting and waiting, that's when I'll go and use the restroom. But here, it's like you won't have that time. Like you've got to literally find a time to turn the app off because you will get just crazy constant rides. And that is a really good problem to have. Uh, most days that I end up quitting early or going home early, it's because I sat and waited somewhere for like 30 minutes and I didn't get a ride. And so then I got ticked off and I was like, you know what, screw this, I'm not doing this crap, you know? So that's a really, really good thing because it's gonna keep your morale and your motivation high if you're getting constant rides because you just feel like you're making good money, right? Um, but number two is just the scenery, the area, uh, the people. I mean, it's a city that a lot of people want to live in. It's not like this is some small little hick town. Like this is San Francisco. This place is popping. Constant rides, constant people. The, I mean, beaches everywhere. There's like crazy college nightlife. Uh, there's just so much excitement and buzz in this city. And again, it's another thing that just keeps your morale really high. Uh, I've always hated days where I feel like I'm just picking up like negative person after negative person, you know, having really dull conversations. But from what I've seen, most people love living here. And so when they get in your car, it's just like good energy, good vibes, and you're gonna have great conversations. You're gonna be looking around and seeing just beautiful like vacation city everywhere you go, beaches, the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, it is just truly a beautiful place. It really is. Um, but uh, the next reason I have is kind of like this last one, but just the, the fun in it. Uh, I should have probably just combined those two, but there's just so much joy in doing this, you know, um, because of the scenery and the people, it just creates this just really healthy environment for rideshare driving. Um, this is my favorite one on this list because this has always been one of the bigger reasons that I've ever driven Uber and Lyft, but for the networking. Uh, I believe the average income is over a six-figure income here. So these are people that if you're an entrepreneur of some sort, which if you're doing Uber and Lyft, you just should be an entrepreneur of some sort um, or just trying to start something on your own. Uh, this is a great city to be networking. I network all the time out of Uber and Lyft. I've gotten clients from my own business from Uber and Lyft and doing it in a city like SF where everybody is, I mean, loaded to some degree. They're making really good money. You know, it's there's a lot of startups here, a lot of tech companies. So it's just a good area to be meeting the right sorts of people. You know, I've always told so many of my friends, I grew up in a small town in Illinois and 
you know, I've always seen these people that want to get out, but don't know how to get out, you know, like it's the typical small town syndrome. You know, people constantly talk about how they hate where they live and they can never leave. But I've always thought like, why would you not just consider moving to a city like that, knowing that you could do something like this as a side gig and make like 25 to 30 bucks an hour in that city? Um, you could get anything going that you want. And that's like essentially my story too, is I slowly built my businesses up with Uber and Lyft. So the networking is going to be unmatched here. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Uh, so it's a really, really solid city to be getting, you know, getting these rides and just talking about what you do. When I'm doing like, when I'm trying to like prospect someone for my business, the first thing I'm doing is I'm talking to them and I'm asking them what they do because guess what's going to happen? They're going to talk, talk, talk about what they do. And then at the very end, they're going to say, yeah, what about you? Is this all you do? Do you just do Uber and Lyft? And I say, oh no, I actually run this business. Funny you mentioned you did this because I could provide you a lot of benefit with my services. That's how it goes for me like 90% of the time. Doing it in a city like that, it's just going to be so freaking powerful, you know? Uh, the next uh, reason number five was this is the um, hub. This is where it all began. This is where the rideshare gods breathed life into some um, some really smart person. I can't even think of his name right now. <laughs> but uh, basically, this is where it all started. So you're kind of in rideshare history. But the main reason I think this is important is that when Uber and Lyft first started, all I remember was hearing people go, oh, I would never get in the car with a stranger, as if getting in a taxi cab wasn't the same thing, just worse. Um, and now look where we're at now. Pretty much most people take Ubers regularly uh, and religiously, but there's a lot of people that still don't want to get in a stranger's car. And that's fair. But the thing is, in SF, that's where it started. So people adjusted to that a lot quicker. And I'm a pretty firm believer that I think that's a big reason why the clientele is so high there because there's more people that are willing to take Ubers because it's been around so long, they've gotten used to it. Um, and then also another reason too is like this city is meant for ride sharing. I mean, it is like set up, so many people commute to work um, and just even getting around in general. But, um, <clears throat> It's uh, it's good being in a city that's had it for a long time because you're gonna, I'm telling you, you're just gonna have more rides. Uh, I had so many family members that were just so anti-Uber when it came out because they just thought they were telling me not to do it because they're like, you're gonna get kidnapped, you're gonna get this, you know that. And so when people have had more time to break down these walls, uh, it's it's a good thing for us. Uh, number six is high rates, pretty much best rates in the nation. But even along with this, like a lot of the really great reason behind it is that there's like very constant surging and a ton of bonuses. Most places I've ever driven in, which I've driven in six different areas, um, cities, the bonuses aren't really that consistent. Like even with Uber, I rarely have like a consistent week after week after week bonus. It's like that here, and a lot of times they're really, really, really strong bonuses. So it's really good to be out there and just kind of getting a schedule of how you wanna work. So if it's like 70 rides in a week, you know you gotta give 10 rides a day. And I really like bonuses like that because they help me stay more goal-oriented with this. Um, so I think that's a huge motivator to have. And obviously constant surging, no one's gonna not like that. Um, and then the last reason I have is it's an expensive city. So this is a city where your side cash is gonna be very, very necessary. Even if you're driving for two hours a day, there's a good chance that you could make 50 bucks in those two hours a day. So then you think, let's say you just did that during your work week, five days a week, and you still kept your weekend open. Well, look, I mean, that's, that's good money. What is that, like 250 bucks in a week for 10 hours? Like that's really solid side money. And for most people, that's a car payment. That's a bunch of utilities. So in a city like this, I, I think Uber can provide so much more benefit um, to just about anyone. I think in most cases, a lot of us are nearly full-time drivers or we have been at one point. So we're used to just hustling and grinding out. For me, I've never had a schedule where I only worked like two hours a day. Um, but it is actually something I'm going to be implementing next week here for me 
because I wanna see if it's similar, if I can just kind of find that value of making 40, 50 bucks a day. So that side cash is gonna be really valuable, especially in a really expensive city like this. Um, so again, it's, it's like I was saying in the beginning of the video, there's just absolutely no reason that if you're living here, you don't take advantage of how powerful Uber and Lyft are. That's what I got for you guys. Don't forget to hit up that Cash App link that I talked about in the beginning. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you guys soon.